Oh, good morning. So it is half past five and it's the beginning of the week. It's Monday. I'm currently in the shed just putting at Christmas we just got to feed that machine uh, so you can hear it buzzing in the background. Um, the agenda this morning is so I loaded up everything last night. We've got a rundown, take us about two hours, pick Dave up, rundown, stop off at a builder's merchants. Last week I got quotes from basically every local builders merchants for the best deals so we're getting the damp proof membrane from mkm on the way down come off at like land of no junction um and then the rest of it well i'll drop dave off then he can get started with that i'm picking up some more materials and paying for a big invoice at hughes gray and i think it's called garwin um yeah so i had a good weekend um met some more workmates and uh, had some fun yesterday in the snow with the family. And I've got some Costco deals. So I've got this massive torch. Um, absolutely giant. So yeah, got that. That was a good find. And um, got the hats and the scarf. So it's gonna be cold. I know it's gonna be cold. Um, I don't enjoy that aspect of it, but I do enjoy putting it back together so stud walls noggins insulation damp proof membrane floor leveling fencing a lot to do um but we're making quite good progress in in the grand scheme of things we've had the ups and the downs but it's all kind of going to plan uh, so far <laughs> doesn't seem like it but it is um and like you say it's ups and downs but yeah uh it'll be a good week so i'm very i'm, I'm quite optimistic i should say um so yeah let's go So just picked up the membrane, got the fixing kit, uh, the car's pretty full so we've got to find somewhere for this. Right so we're here, ready to get some work done. Caravans haven't been burnt. No love letters through the post. Not been robbed. Yeah, it's not too bad that. <laughs> oh, left window open though. Shouldn't have done that. So yeah, been on load. I'm gonna nip back off to the builder's yard and get some progress done, get some lights on. So what we've got here is we're marking out where the new stirs are going because we're going to take these out today because this section here, basically these stirs are going to be moved further back to allow more room underneath where we can get like a little kitchen in and um, basically they're too steep. So we're going to take them out. We're going to put that back in and then Dave is going to cut out these sections here. Um, he found this handy little app actually. Well, it's not an app. Basically, where you order your stirs from. So, firstly, measure your height. So, we've got 225 coming in from the first floor down to the bottom. And then that gives you your, your going length based on what kind of degree you can get because these are quite small we've got the minimum degree of 42 um god knows what they are what what degrees do you reckon them stirs are dave no that these are oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. 80. <laughs> it looks more than 42 anyway yeah 
So. It's going to be like 50 or yeah. 60. Well, well, 50. So this doesn't look anything out the ordinary for me. <laughs> if the suspension's not squished with some bags of tiles and adhesive, it's a trailer job. I'll tell you what, this trailer, camping trailer with the extensions, fucking hell. I paid like 130 quid for this and it's proper come in. Um, so we've got this drain pipe, which I'll show you later on. What we're gonna do with the roof vents and we've got our noggins for our upstairs floor. 6 by 2 they didn't have the five, so we'll see what Dave has to say about that. I'm sure he'll not be happy. Um, roofing battens for the ventilation of the roof going in. So yeah, happy days. Let's get some breakfast. My task is taking out this fireplace and then here there's like a void. So taking that out, ready for the sprayer tomorrow. Should go back that far, but it doesn't. So Yeah, get two. So we're about three barrows in and we're exposing the fireplace. Uh, like a clay fireplace in here, brick on the outside, that would have once been, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna open it up. Uh, I just thought I'd show you the inside, of a, an old stone wall. So some big boulders here, if you can step back and I'll see. Some big ones. And let you have a look upwards. That is the old flue. So it goes back quite deep, you know, all the way, well, as you can see, depth wise. Um, let Dave have a look. These stones, the size of them, they're what's coming out. Little job turned out to be a big job. Doors have come out and probably four or five times over. Size of that one. But that's it. Yeah. You think they'll stay, Matt? Leave them. Them ones are. Yeah, because you're going to cut. You're going to yeah. cut about here. Yeah. 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 How about that? What is that stone? Outside brick, isn't it? It's inside store. So we've got the chimney breast all nice and clean. Ish. Got a cut here where the lintel stops here. So we're going to leave two inch. We're going to open this up and uh, make a nice little log burner feature. This bit just starting to take off this, it's just breeze blocked up. For what reason they did that, I don't know. Um, making the room smaller, keep the heat in maybe. Less decorating, who knows. But uh, yeah, take that out and then should look quite smart when it's opened up. So we're at Number two, starting this chimney breast takeout and uh, more crap, bricks and stuff first and then probably stone behind. Uh, it's like three o'clock, uh, going for a few hours so building games an hard one. It's hard graph taking this out. Um, it's no joke, barrows and barrows of stone. Um, but yeah. Slow and steady. So, working from dusk till dawn. We got plenty done today. 
got a delivery coming tomorrow. So we've cleared out two chimneys. That's no, this is number two. And that's number one. And then cleared out that corner. And we've got noggins that have gone in, reinforced the, the floor, and then we've got this bit cut out. So we've got this bit cut out here. That'll be where the new stairs are going up. And then this bit will be boxed in tomorrow. And happy day, so. Time for tea. Great, so that is the end of Monday. Um, I can see that we're gonna make some really good progress towards the end of the week. Um, it's just nice to put things back together um, and start improving, sort of smashing things out. What I did think was the last dirty job of clearing all the crap out last week has uh, <laughs> not quite worked out, but yeah, um, hopefully the last, or one of the last dirty jobs, um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I've got an academy, um, Monday night mastermind, and I've got a bit of editing to do, so I'm going to try and do maybe one a day, um, see how that goes, so, yeah, uh, as always, um, you know, like and and if you've got any feedback, any comments, anything you questioning that you can think of, um, just let me know and I'll, and I'll, and I'll uh, reply straight back to you. So that's it for now. Um, literally worked from dusk till dawn, and uh, I'll be glad to get warm now. So right, thanks for watching.